Okay, I got this camera zoomed in as far as I can and they're still pretty high. It's hard to keep in focus. I'm thinking they're a thousand feet. Starting to drop a bit. They've been up for 45 minutes now, so they just should start dropping down. They're flying just like little pepper spots when I last, or when I first put them off, I should say. They're finally starting to drop a bit. I don't know if it's the weather or what. It's about just above zero Celsius here right now. The waters froze this morning. These guys seem to fly better in the cooler weather. Should give them focus. Closer. Okay, now it's full zoom in. They're still flying pretty darn high. Notice they fly a lot slower than the blacks. This is two reds and two almonds. Two brother and sister teams. Out of the same nest, too. Every once in a while they'll put a little spurt of speed in, which I really think is cool. They kind of almost dive at each other. Then they'll drop a bit. I can't tell how focused this is while I'm taking it, but you'll see when I put it on the big screen. They're still molting a bit. Like I said, they've been up 45 minutes already and they're still flying. That's good. I'd like them to fly high, but not quite this high. Here we go. Try to follow one, and I end up... There, something's going on. Where'd we go now? I know somebody doing something. And he's following them. They actually hate recording because it takes from the real fun of watching them, but I'd like to be able to at least check and see what they are doing. It's nice to be able to go back and slow motion it, see what they're doing. The blacks definitely fly faster for some reason. And they are more active. We'll see how these guys grow as they progress. The father of the two reds up here is my best spinning cock bird. He's a Czech, they call him Casanova. I'm looking forward to breeding the heck out of him in 2020. There goes some new guns up again. Can't tell who it is because they're too high. Looks like it was one of the Oh, it's hard to say. They all look kind of black from here. Have to wait till they come down a bit more. 
I like the way they play dive at each other too, it's kind of neat. Maybe it kind of took off a little faster there for a minute. How they do. This fall so close and the weather so unpredictable. You get two, three nice days, then you get a little bunch of there. They really start diving there. I don't know what's going on. Maybe there's a falcon around too, it's hard to say. Now they back up. I do like that. There's some nice dropping. For young birds, I'm pretty happy. They seem to be pretty active. Gave the parents of the almonds here to a friend of mine that's just getting into orientals. So I'm really hoping that he pushes them hard this year and takes lots of babies off them. I just got too many birds as far as breeders to handle for the amount of babies I want to keep. So I can get another couple guys close to me here that are pretty serious about flying them. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully we'll have a little club here in the next year or so. Where did you go now? Oh, I lost. There they are. I wouldn't even be able to see them without the zoom. Even this is half zoom. Coming up. There's half zoom. Oh, wow, they're gone. Where'd they go again? There they are again. Full zoom. Come on down a little bit more, guys. I really like how slow they're flying. Kind of remind me of tipplers up there. Twisting and turning, that's cool. I just videotaped the blocks yesterday and there's a little bit more breeze, but basically the same day and they flew faster than the heck. And these guys are, and they stayed low most of the time. And they flew only about 45 minutes. These guys are well over the hour and a half. And they're just starting to come down and they're flying really nice and slow. Every once in a while they do one of those spurts which I really like. As if a falcon's attacking. I get mainly kestrels and merlins here. Probably got another, maybe, if I'm lucky, another month of flying if the weather holds out. Once it gets too cold and wet and snowy, I lock them up. You coming down, guys? Yeah. These are the four that we're flying. They're hungry, but they're not real hungry. You can tell by the way they attack the food. 